Hello everyone and welcome to a new Horizon 5 video. For those that first arrive on the channel or don't know yet, I try to find affordable auto show cars only for each weekly playlist event just so that any player new to veteran with a bunch of free time or just casual can complete it. Also any tune you've required can be found by my gamer tag and you can basically find it while upgrading or tuning the car by searching for Darksider9229 Creator in the menu. With that known, let's not lose any more time and quickly go through this week's Summer of Series 1 festival playlist and if this helps, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Thanks! So, this week you can get the DeLorean and the 19 Aston Martin DBS by reaching their respective points progress. To do so, you need to complete challenges to the right and each of them has the points it has to offer just underneath, so you no longer have to calculate percentages and such so a lot easier to do the math. Not only you get the points towards seasonal completion, but also other unique rewards per challenge. Now let's start this week's Forzaton, which will get you 80 Forzaton points that you'll be able to use in the weekly Forzaton shops as soon as they are unlocked. Besides that, it will get you points towards the festival completion and rewards on the first card of the menu too. It has 4 challenges, starting with the first one, on the 2017 Nissan GTR from the Auto Show. Once you have purchased or won it through a wheel spin, hop in and you'll be up for the second challenge, drive it for 13.5 miles. That is easy, for a fast one, go down the highway. Third. 6 stars in total from Danger Signs. Find an easy one on the map like this one. And complete it till you have gathered the 6. As for the 4th, you need 2 awesome drift skills. That means no handbrake is allowed as that would trigger e-drift. So, pick a road racing event and start balancing the car before corners to make it slide on her own instead of using the handbrake to initiate the drift. Once you got the two required skills, you can just leave the race and continue with other events of the festival playlist. Having the car upgraded should help get this done faster. Once completed, both the seasonal and forzaton points are yours. Regarding the daily challenges, one opens each day and counts as one point, as well as 10 Forzaton points. For dailies, difficulty doesn't matter as long as you complete the requirement. For more points, you can play a Horizon Arcade. This should become available roughly every hour or even more often, and basically you have to drive to the indicated location and complete 3 challenges within 10 minutes. The issue here is that, well, it is quite broken, and you might find yourself solo or over the impossible to complete challenges alone, or in a broken convoy as you are trying to complete the last bit of it and fail anyway. I was lucky the past week, not so much this time. Actually, today I barely saw the arcade event take place on the map, as well as random players on the map, so I don't know what's with it. Hopefully back in review for fixes along with the multiplayer servers in order to be able to play along eventually. Next, we can jump into the trial. After trying for more than 30 minutes to start a convoy just because it started to delay the summer video too much, I had to go solo. Sorry friends, hopefully we'll be able to team up next time. For this one, you'll be put against unbeatable drive avatars in B700 pickups and 4x4s. Luckily, you don't really need to do anything for this one other than concentrate as you already have a car, and that is the intro for Bronco. If you manage to win the trail, you get the gold, the reward and it points as well. Up next, seasonal games in B700 Modern Rally. 
Here you can pick anything as you only have to complete a game session. You don't need to win so make sure to stay till the end of it in order to get all the rewards no matter the outcome. Don't rage quit like some of my random teammates did as this won't bring you any benefit here. Done with that as well we're ready for this week's PR stance. First is the runaway danger sign, S1 Retro Sports Cars. The requirement is the fourth box with the raindrops since summer is the rainy season here in Mexico, while the restriction or which car you actually need to use is described below. So I used the last week Forzaton 350Z, as I had it already in S1, it is a retro sports car and managed to do well above the 385 meters required for this seasonal completion. Next, Cordillera Speed Zone, 800 BMW and 170.6 km per hour target. Being so cheap, I used the Z4. In case you need it, my tune is already shared and can be found by my gamer tag available in the video description as well as in the scoreboards while racing. And lastly, Hillside Drift Zone in S1 Drift Cars with a 90k drift score target. What you need to use here are formula drift cars. Also, the easiest way to drift is by using manual transmission. So make sure to switch it in settings and then just put it in third or fourth and give it a go sliding from side to side. It should be rather easy and no additional tuning should be required for these cars. Once done with the PR stunts, it's time for this week's seasonal championship. Letting off steam 800 modern sports cars. As I already had the BMW from the speed zone fitting the requirement, I used the exact same one. The championship must be won against at least highly skilled drive avatars. But by the looks of it, the difficulty is now automatically locked, probably to prevent users using a lower difficulty and missing the rewards by mistake, but unfortunately also blocking from using a high one for those that want to feel the thrill, at least for now. But all in all, a really easy championship. For the second championship, new kid on the block, 800 super hot hatch. Another really cheap option, since I try to create these guides for everyone is an older Ford RS. Same as for the BMW and the rest of the cars used, tunes are already shared, but to be honest, against this easy difficulty you should be safe, even with stock cars. As for the last one, it's riding sideways, B700 Classic Muscle. A car that was not really easy to drive in Horizon 4 got more accessible, that being this Z28 Camaro, really cheap with some upgrades fitted to it to meet the requirements and off you go for the podium. Up next for more points Horizon Tour Co-op Championship. Just enter it and see what it gives you in terms of car requirements. If none fits, rent or buy one as I think this change on every new run, not always requiring the same class for the whole week of a season like the previous challenges and championships do. Being done with the championships, it's time for something new. Treasure Hunt. Complete the objective with your modern Stingray. 
and then go and find the treasure. It is placed right next to the tents, exactly like in the picture. Does it look like this? Next, this week's photo challenge. New digs. Since it actually requires a picture with Casa Bella, which is basically the first house you get to own, makes it very easy. Just go there with any car and snap a picture of it. Up next, for two more points, Horizon Open Challenge. Start it, complete the requirement, which this week is to reach a top speed of 140 miles per hour, and then once you got it, it is safe for you to exit, as the objective would be already marked and jump to the next challenge, unless you want to continue racing for some reason. As for the Eliminator, just go and complete a session. I really hoped I have a chance at reaching a higher place, but I guess my controller batteries had other plans for me. Oh well, better luck next time. While the Goddess Smash Em All challenge will get you chasing cactuses across the desert for its seasonal points. And for the monthly arrivals, as always, it only needs you to do a clean lap around the pre-selected circuit, so that means no dive bombing through stuff for the remaining seasonal points. And that basically sums up the summer of Series 1 seasonal playlist. Regarding the daily challenges, in case you have trouble with any, please use the comment section below or ask over Discord and I'll guide you through. Maybe I'll even do a separate video to cover all of them, since I saw some requested it. If this helped, make sure to like and subscribe for more, your support is much appreciated. Thanks! See you on Thursday with the next completion summary for the upcoming Atom season of Series 1, as well as with the stream on Saturday evening, which I'll try to make open lobby that if the game actually lets us create a convoy to do seasonal stuff besides other guides and maybe funny videos of Horizon 5 across the week. But until then, thanks for watching and have fun racing!